What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Uh, out riding around this morning. I'm heading somewhere. And I uh, just want to do a quick introduction whenever I get where I'm going. Um, I'll show you where we're at. And then we'll talk about what we're going to get. Check back with y'all in just a minute. All right, here we are. I'm sure that you can uh, see that right there. We are at Lowe's, and uh, in just a minute, got to go in here and grab something. I'll talk about what I got, and I'll talk also about how I hate coming to Lowe's, or why I hate, rather, coming to Lowe's. So, uh, anyway, it's, it might not be what you think. Stay tuned for that. All right, I don't know if y'all can see that big black stack on the uh, other side of, uh, I'm trying to find my lens on here, on the other side, right back here. Uh, but that is 50 bags of black mulch. Now, before anybody says, why do you buy mulch in the bags? Let me clarify. One is I don't do much mulch. Number two is the closest place that I know of that I've been able to find, it's probably a good 60 miles for me to get bulk. Um, so, I buy it in a bag. Got 50 bags back there. Hey, ladies at Lowe's, super. Two ladies come out and help me. Uh, I was about to start loading this stuff by hand, and she said, you know, let me put the pallet up there and we can offload it. And then she said, well, let me just put the whole pallet on there but then some of the bags were tore at the bottom. She said, well, I'll go get a new pallet of mulch. And so she goes around, gets a new pallet that had never been opened or uncovered, brings it around, takes 25 bags off the top, sticks it on my trailer, gets another pallet to put behind it so she can push it up and make the load level out on the trailer. Ladies did an outstanding job. So shout out to the ladies at uh, Lowe's. Uh, one of them even asked me about cutting some grass. And uh, I told her, I said, ma'am, uh, I don't live over here, which is what's something I'm going to get to in just a second. I said, I don't live over here. And uh, anyway, somewhere between here and, and, and where I live, uh, her father is having some lawn care issues, I guess. And uh, so I ended up giving her my card. I mean, it's not something I really want to do. And I just kind of told her this. I said, look, you know, worst case scenario, if you absolutely can't find anybody, you know, give me a call and I'll see if I can do anything to help y'all. But, uh, you know, it's I'm booked up and. You know, it's a it's a good little ways off. Uh, it's further than I want to drive to one yard, a smaller yard. So anyway, they got me loaded up. Uh, let me tell you what happened uh, on this mulch. Um, it's Wednesday, and I don't do any lawn care stuff on Wednesday, but I went to the office about 5.30 this morning, got a good bit done, and run over here to pick this up. I quoted a job with this mulch, two dollars a bag, because that's what it was. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mark that up. I mean, I guess I could have. I just put on the labor in what I want to make. You know what I mean? I, I don't mark up product. I, I put on the labor in my cost to pick up stuff and my cost to install it and all that. So you know, whatever you do, that's fine. But here's the issue I ran into. Last night I got online looking to realize that sale ends today. And that stuff goes back up to like $3.60, $3.70 a bag, which would go from $100 for 50 bags to, you know, like $175 for 50 bags or whatever. So I'm over here getting it. Hey, let me show you this while I'm sitting here. This is something else you got to factor in on your time. Waiting on a train. Um, now, in the opening part of the video, I said, I hate loads or I hate coming here or whatever. And you, you may have took that the wrong way. I don't hate the store. I love the store. I've spent thousands upon thousands of dollars shopping at Lowe's. Now, I do try to shop local when local is competitive. But if I'm going to buy $1,000 worth of stuff and I can save $200, I mean, I hate it. But, you know, that's kind of what I, I feel like that's what I got to do. Um, what I hate about Lowe's, I can drive about... 35 miles one way and get to Lowe's. I can drive 35 miles in the other direction and get to Lowe's 
what I can't do is get to Lowe's without driving at least 35 miles. Um, now, you may say, well, that's going to take you an hour and a half or two hours by the time you go and get the mulch and bring it back and, you know, this, that, and the other. And, uh, and you're right. I shouldn't have pulled up on these tracks. You're right, it will. But now, here's the thing. When I go to Lowe's, typically, this is typical, I'm buying materials usually for multiple jobs. So we might need something for the house. I might need some wood for a project I'm working on. And I might need some mulch, for example. And me and my wife want to go to a restaurant. We come to this Lowe's. We go to Olive Garden. We go to the other Lowe's. We go to Longhorn. And I just kind of do it all at one time, which was my intention for Friday night. But then I realized huh, it ain't going to be on sale Friday night, right? So I had to come on over here. Now, what I should have done, and I'd already quoted the job based on the price. What I should have done is first paid attention when I quoted. And number two is, in all honesty, because I didn't... Uh, I didn't really have to get anything else from Lowe's. Like, this was a single trip, so this is costing me money. Um, I should have just quoted it local and, you know, just added it into the price. Because it's 50 bags. You know, even if you add another $75 to it, I think the people was going to have it done anyway. Right? I don't I don't think they would go, oh, that's another $75, you know, that's another 10% or whatever. So, anyway, that's what I meant by saying I hate Lowe's. Uh, Lowe's has been good, you know, usually there are people in there that are helpful. Uh, I don't have any complaint, you know, with the store itself. I mean, it's a box store. But at Lowe's, one of the things that has kept me coming to Lowe's is the, is the military, the veterans discount. And so I get 10% off of everything I buy in there. And you know, when you buy a thousand dollars worth of stuff, well, that's a hundred dollars, you know, on top of, let's say, let's say that I price something locally and it's $900. I mean, it's a thousand, it's a thousand dollars and Lowe's got it for 900 and then I'm going to get another $90 off. So now I'm at 810 versus 1,000. You know, you got to take that into consideration when you're trying to be competitive. Uh, but now I buy a lot local. And everything that I can, you know, I buy local, uh, especially small stuff. Or, you know, if I just need a, you know, I mean, if I needed 10 bags of mulch or even 25 bags of mulch, I wouldn't have thought about going to Lowe's, you know. Now I might have picked it up if I was over there because my wife and I were going to eat, but I would have quoted it at the local price, and I'd just, you know, I'd have paid for my gas to take my wife out to eat and bought it while I was over there. But uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to share that with you, and, uh, you know, just a little glimpse into my day. No lawn care today other than just picking up stuff. Got a little crepe myrtle back there you might be able to see. My wife and them are, are buying that, uh, I think, for a teacher that, that lost her mother, I believe. Uh, and kind of as a gift, they're going to uh, do that. So I picked that up for a while I was over here. Hey, and I just want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, I want to thank the people that uh, take time to watch, people like the videos, and people that comment on the videos. Um, you know, and I know I'll miss some people when I think about this. Uh, Grace uh, is good about, she's good about commenting on my uh, videos. Appreciate you. Um, Josh from Josh's Lawn and Landscape, great about commenting on them. Um, Sean from Minnesota uh, Lawn and Landscape, really good about you know commenting on the videos. Uh, even uh, Cody and Courtney from uh, Pro Cut Lawn Ten, uh, you know they occasionally drop in and check out my videos. And I don't I don't know how in the world with all that they do they have time to even look at anybody else's videos. But you know I respect and appreciate somebody um, that does that. Uh, Drew Hadwin from uh, New Beginnings Landscape in South Carolina. Uh, you know, he's always interacting. David Hutto, Sheepdog Services, LLCs, uh, you know, he interacts with me. Uh, and i tell you another one. Now, some of you probably won't like this, and that's okay, you know, uh, because he's had some bad press. He's had some bad publicity. Uh, and look, if you've ever watched his channel, 
you can probably figure uh, with me as a pastor, there's some things we don't agree on. Uh, I'm a, you know, I, I am drawn to channels that are, uh, I'm drawn to channels that if I had little children, they could watch it, you know. I, so, but, but, I, but I don't say this as any disrespect to him. Uh, he's been good to me. He interacts with me. I, and that, uh, that's Shane from uh, DLT, Doc. Uh, now, some of you, you may, you know, you may unsubscribe from me now if you say, well, you watch Doc, you know. Um, but I watch some of his videos, and he watches mine, or at least he comments on them. And, you know, I want to say a word about that because, and I know there's some history there, and I know some things happened, and some feelings got hurt probably on both sides, and there's been some fractions and some splits. But I going to tell you something. That's what's wrong with our country right now. Our country's in a place where... If we don't agree politically, we don't agree racially, uh, we don't agree economically, we, we can't agree to disagree anymore. We're enemies now, right? Um, we're enemies. And listen, we got multiple countries right now in one country. And if something don't change quick, we're going to become multiple countries or one big third world country because people just can't get, you know, people can't listen to the other side. And uh, I don't know, man, I, I'm just, you know, I'll be preaching here in a minute, but I'm, I thank God that His mercies are new every day. Listen, I make mistakes every day. I, I know I've probably offended people, you know, along the way and uh, with different things, and it hadn't been intentional, but I, I just know that kind of stuff happens. And, you know, I've, I've done wrong. And the Lord forgives me, and I want to forgive other people. I, I say it like this, and listen, I, I tell our church this, you know, because we're not perfect. All You know, we have struggles uh, internally. I, I serve a great church. To me, it's the greatest church in the world because, you know, I, I love those folks. But listen, I don't care what kind of organization you're a part of. There are times when you go through rough spots. There are times when there's dissension and people have trouble agreeing, you know, and, and people get their feelings hurt, all right? But I want to say this. Uh, I can be friend with with person A and person C when person A and person C won't talk to one another, right? J just because A and C can't work out their relationship and, and because they can't get along doesn't mean that I can't be friends with both of them. You know, now you do whatever you want to do, but I'm just telling you, that's where I'm at. Uh, and so... Uh, you know, I, I watch, you know, I, I watch people, obviously, you know, probably most of the people I watch, we don't agree on everything, but my goodness, you know. Now, if somebody's, you know, being hurtful, uh, just creating dissension, uh, being racist or whatever, you know, going through a season, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm going to call wrong, wrong. Uh but I still don't have to hate the person just because they're wrong. So now I wouldn't have to necessarily listen to them either, you know. But my point is this. And life's short. The Bible says this life's a vaporous a mist. It's here today. It's gone tomorrow. Uh, it's too short to be stressed out, you know, ever, over every little thing and arguing and fighting all the time. Yeah, fight for a noble and a worthy cause. I'm, I'm certainly not saying don't do that. Uh learn to listen to you know like, anyway i could go on and on and on i'm just rambling this is my rambling day since i ain't doing lawn care i just talk i'm getting prepped up for tonight i gotta preach tonight so of course by the time you watch this it'll be tomorrow you probably notice most of my videos go out at least a day late i kind of do them through the day usually when i get done in the evenings uh, i mean obviously it, you know out cutting and it's almost dark when i get home i'm not i'm not fitting to edit no video and put it up okay I mean, I love YouTube and the interaction, but it ain't that important to me. So I used to put it up the next day. And sometime on the weekend when I do it on Friday, it don't go up till Sunday morning or Monday, you know. Uh, so it's not always timely. But, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Again, thank you to those of you that are subscribed, those of you that uh, like, comment, interact with me. I appreciate y'all. I uh, hope all of you have a great day. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you, and that you might see all of your blessings as from him. Y'all take care.